Hello guys, this is Phil from Fox Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to mount our mapping camera, the Map01, on the Nimbus Vito. Okay, so what you are seeing is the Nimbus mapping version, and uh, comparing with the old version, we did a lot of uh, improvements. So let's see, uh, the main improvement is here, the loading area. Actually, uh, we made a customized uh, loading plate, and also the tubes for loading the camera. Okay, so uh, also uh, now, nowadays we fly just with our GS01 ground station. Very simple. I can show you later about how to link it with the Nimbus and how to trigger the camera. Okay, let's start now. So put it aside. Okay, so we turn the plane upside down and just make sure you mount the camera in this way uh, with the top to the front. So we just uh, first mount the two damper foam here. And then put the camera in this way. Uh, just notice now you have to plug on the, the sockets. And this one is to control uh, the trigger and for power supplying and other functions. Okay, so now yeah, put the camera in. And then we put on, just uh, notice a little bit about direction, um, this way. Okay, the upper layer form. And then the last one, okay, so it's in this way. Okay, so now you can see the camera is just squeezed very tightly here. So the form will just hold the camera in place and also give it enough vibration uh, reduction. So the last one is the mounting plate. So you can mount it in this way and then tighten the screws. The mounting of the loading plate and everything is quite easy and take around maybe two minutes to finish. And you may notice comparing with the old version, the original version, Nimbus, we also add a carbon fiber landing gear. This is the carbon fiber landing gear, very light and also very strong to hold uh, the Nimbus. Now the mapping version is a little bit heavier than the old version because we used a better motor and we add a camera right here. So you can, you can see now the camera is held in place and you can see it can move a little bit and this will give you a very good vibration control. You can take the crystal clear image and photos just with this one. And here, uh, just by the way, this is a 25 millimeter lens and which is compatible with our Map01 camera. So, okay, turn it around. Okay, now we power on the plane with a small battery. And uh, also, the camera is already linked to the flight control, and we use the Servo 11 to control the shutter. So let's wait around maybe three seconds, and we can hear a click in, inside of the camera. And that means uh, it takes the first shot, and then you can just uh, trigger the camera with your flight control. Okay. 
So, well, you can see, uh, you just see everything, everything on my GS01, the ground station. And then if you want to trigger the camera, you can do it in this way and uh, press it, and the camera will trigger uh, and take a photo. Uh, it's also so simple to uh, make a mapping pattern just like this. I'm not going to do too much demonstration, but it's quite simple. You can uh, set the lens, you can set uh, the everything, the camera here. Uh, for uh, the map zero one, you can use the Sony A6000 inside of the, uh, the setting software. Activate. And so, yeah, you can see I can control my plane just with the ground station. Okay, guys, so this is a brief demonstration about how I mount my MIPE01 mapping camera on this mapping version, Nimbus Vito. So I hope you like it. And uh, well, let's just take a close look here. Well, this is uh, the mapping version, this is the mapping camera, and everything is so simple. The whole system is so so light and then you can use my ground station to control everything uh, just everything uh, uh, about how fly and uh, launch it and uh, maybe uh, just everything just like what you use with a laptop but this one with the gs01 uh, all integrate the ground station you can just uh, find every function inside of it and also you you can have a 15 kilometer long range control and long range data link with it so it's all integrated into one so thanks for watching this is Fu from fox tech if you like our video and also if you like our video the products you can try to find them on our website foxtechfpv.com and also you can take a look at our Facebook and YouTube, maybe Twitter, and hope to see you in next video. Bye.